I was watching TV, and my wife would set the volume for about 20. You know how that works. And I would set the volume for 45, you know. And I said, I have an ear problem. When 76-year-old retired Army specialist Michael Nicoletti noticed something was off with his hearing, the former engineer in him didn't waste any time coming up with a solution. What made you think, ah, Miss Straw could work? Walking into the kitchen and I saw this, we have a stack of straws, and I said, you know, what would happen if I cut one of those straws off? And so I did, and I stuck them in my ears. And then I went in and I said, all right, turn the TV on. And lo and behold, you know, a, a setting of 20 or 25 was good for me now. In need of a more permanent fix, the Vietnam vet was referred to audiologist Dr. Kit Flanagan at the Ralph H. Johnson VA Medical Center in Charleston, South Carolina. So, Dr. Flanagan, this, uh, this man comes into your office and he tells you, I've been putting straws in my ears, Doc. What would what, what'd you say? A little alarming. Um... I said, we probably shouldn't be doing that. We can probably find an alternative uh, that can help you out. Dr. Flanagan diagnosed Nicoletti with acquired atresia, his hearing loss due to his ear canals collapsing. Most people with the condition have it in just one ear, but Mr. Nicoletti has it in both. If you've ever worn earplugs, you've, yeah. you've experienced what Mr. Nicoletti experiences on a daily basis. Since Nicoletti didn't want to have surgery, he and Dr. Flanagan decided to come up with a device of their own that would help in the same way the drinking straws did, by propping open his ear canal, but a bit more sophisticated. So Dr. Flanagan reached out to biomedical engineer Nikki Beitenman, who runs the Charleston VA's 3D printing lab, and asked her to make stents for Mr. Nicoletti's ears. The lab uses the technology to print a variety of things, from organ replicas to cup holders, for veterans' wheelchairs. We use a 3D CAD software to draw from scratch. So basically what that means is we're literally drawing on the computer in 3D shapes. And then the printer just does layer by layer and forms the shape that you upload to it. The lab went through six different prototypes before coming up with the right fit. We were able to rely on Mr. Nic Nicoletti's feedback to say, hey, let's, let's Let's try this. Let's make it softer. Let's make it smoother. The stents have been a game changer for Mr. Nicoletti and meant no more debates over the TV volume. After using the straws, I was down in the 25 range. And now with these, I'm still down in that about 25, okay? I'm a happy camper. And within just a few months, the ear stent was granted the VA's first ever compassionate use approval for a 3D printed medical device by the FDA. You mentioned that people don't often think about the VA as a hotbed of innovation, and I, I'd love to change that idea. Um, conservatively, there's over a million veterans in our country with hearing loss. So if we can change one veteran's mind to, to come to the VA and use us for their health care, I think that's a victory also. Were you okay with being the guinea pig? Absolutely. I'm, I'm a veteran. I, I fought in Vietnam, and I have many of my brothers are here. If it helps one of them to with a hearing a similar hearing issue, you know, then I think it's well it's well worth the effort. Mike, you're the only guy uh, in America with with these devices, and, and and there is no pressure here. I just want everybody to know uh, they're they're called the Geo Ear Canal. Stints. I heard they let you name them. Giovanni is the name of my new grandson. Giovanni Anthony Nicoletti. The Geo Stint. Yeah, Geo Stint. That's yeah. great. Remember great. that, the Geo Stint. So right. yeah, here's the thing the compassionate use approval means that for now, only Mr. Nicoletti can use this stint because it's yet to undergo clinical trials. But the team at the Charleston VA is now in the process of applying for wider approval for that device. And one of the biggest perks, by the way, of using this 3D printing, mm -hmm. 64 cents. Yeah. That's what it costs that. to make one of the one of the pairs of stents. The, 64 cents. The fact that he thought even yeah. to put straws yeah. in his yes. ears in the first place and it, it, it developed into this, yeah. named after his grandson. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. Well, we know why he's been married all those years. Yeah. He didn't just say, well, turn it up. He yeah. came up with a solution. <laughs> yes. Good exactly. husband. Good. His, his wife probably prodded yes. him. Into yes. Good observation. Solution.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.